The competency in this lesson is determine the center and radius of a circle given its equation and vice versa. This is the center radius form of the equation of a circle. It's the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. The coordinates of the center are h and k and our radius has length r. Example number one, identify the center and the radius of x squared plus y squared equals four. So this equation can be written as the quantity x minus zero squared plus the quantity y minus zero squared equals two squared. So four can be written as two squared. The coordinates of our center are the h and the k. We have here zero and zero. And the radius is two. Example number two, identify the center and the radius of the quantity x minus four squared plus y squared equals 49. So this equation can be written as the quantity x minus four squared plus the quantity y minus zero squared equals seven squared. So 49 can be written as seven squared. The coordinates of our center are h and k. We have here four and zero. So notice here we have the quantity x minus four squared. Our h is positive four. And then our radius here is seven. Example number three, identify the center and the radius of the quantity x plus five squared plus the quantity y minus one squared equals 100. So this equation can be written as the quantity x plus five squared plus the quantity y minus one squared equals 10 squared. So 100 can be written as 10 squared. The coordinates of our center are h and k. We have negative five, positive one. So notice here, it's the quantity x plus five squared. The value of h is negative five. And we have here the quantity y minus one squared. The value of k is one. And our radius here is 10. Example number four. Identify the center and the radius of x squared plus 4x plus y squared equals 12. Our equation is not written in center radius form, so we are going to write the equation in the form the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared equals r squared, which is the center radius form. So here, we are going to group together the terms that have the same variables. In this case, it's x squared and 4x. We group together x squared and 4x. That's why we have the quantity x squared plus 4x plus y squared equals 12. Why do we have a space here? It's because we are going to complete the square. To complete the square, we are going to find one half of the coefficient of x, then square it. So one half of four is two, then two times two is four. So we add four here inside the parentheses. Since we added four on the left side of the equation, we are also going to add four on the right side of the equation. This expression x squared plus four x plus four can be written as a square of a binomial. And that's the quantity x plus two squared then y squared can be written as the quantity y plus zero squared, and 12 plus four is 16, and 16 can be written as four squared. So the coordinates of our center are h and k, so it's negative two and zero, and our radius is four. Example number five, Identify the center and the radius of x squared plus y squared 
plus 6x minus 8y plus 24 equals 0. Again, this equation is not written in center radius form. But we are going to group together terms that have the same variables. So in this case, the first group contains x squared and 6x, and the second group contains y squared and negative 8y. Then this constant here, we are going to move it to the right side. So it becomes the quantity x squared plus 6x, then plus the quantity y squared minus 8y equals negative 24. Now we are going to complete the square for x squared plus 6x. To complete the square, we are going to find half of 6 and square it. Half of 6 is 3, then square it, it's 9. So we add 9 here. Since we added 9 on the left side of the equation, we are also going to add 9 on the right side of the equation. Now we are also going to complete the square for y squared minus 8y. So 1 half of 8 is 4, then square it, it's 16. So we add 16 here. And then we are also going to add 16 on the right side of the equation. So that's plus 16. Now since we have completed the square here, this can be written as square of a binomial, which is the quantity x plus 3 squared. And then this y squared minus 8y plus 16 can be written as the quantity y minus 4 squared. And negative 24 plus 9 plus 16 equals 1. And 1 can be written as 1 squared. Now, the coordinates of our center are h and k. We have negative 3, positive 4, and then the radius is 1. Example number 6. Identify the center and the radius of x squared plus y squared plus 10y plus 19 equals 0. Again, we are going to write this equation in the form the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. To do that, we are going to group together the terms that have the same letters. So in this case, it's y squared and 10y. Then we are going to move the constant to the right side of the equation. So it becomes x squared plus the quantity y squared plus 10y equals negative 19. Now we are going to complete the square here, y squared plus 10y. 1 half of 10 is 5, then 5 squared is 25. So we are going to add 25 here. Since we added 25 on the left side of the equation, we are also going to add 25 on the right side of the equation. Now, so x squared can be written as x plus 0 squared. And then y squared plus 10y plus 25 can be written as the quantity y plus 5 squared, and then we have negative 19 plus 25 equals 6. The coordinates of our center are h and k, so it's 0 and negative 5. 6 here is not a perfect square, so the radius is square root of 6. Now, let's do the other way around. We are going to write the equation of the circle given the center and the radius. Number 7, the center has coordinates 0 and 0. Then the radius has length 5 units. So the equation is x squared plus y squared equals 25. Number 8, the center of the circle has coordinates 7 and 0 and the radius has length 6 units. So the equation is the quantity x minus 7 squared plus y squared equals 36. Number 9. The center has coordinates 4 and negative 8 and the radius is 6. So the equation is the quantity x minus 4 squared 
plus the quantity y plus 8 squared equals 36. Number 10, the center has coordinates negative 1 and negative 9 and the radius is square root of 7. So our equation is the quantity x plus 1 squared plus the quantity y plus 9 squared equals 7. Thanks for watching guys. This is Teacher Regil. Keep safe.